Ace Banks turn up. Got, got done like Creflo. And I'm slowing down because I want more. Put your little bitch in the figure four. I, I be going hard for the bankroll. We go. Now coming to you live is Get The Money TV. And you already know it's GTM2J and I got my co-host. I am Queso. Yo. And today we got our special guest. Now me Cobina in the building. And you know we finna get into this little interview today with my man Cobina, man. Right, for for y'all that don't know, you know, he one of the busiest videographers in Atlanta. And you know, he just transitioned to being an artist. So we're going to get into a little bit of that today. So, um, you know, for those that don't know you, man, describe, you know, where you from and what your childhood was like growing up. Oh, uh, you know what I mean? Yeah. I would say I'm from West Africa. You know what I mean? I represent like beer by my mother's side, Ghana by my dad's side. You know what I'm saying? So, shoot. I mean, I carry my dad's blood, so I rap Ghana to the fullest. You feel me? So, my childhood, really, man, I would say I had a, a adaptable childhood. You feel me? Because... Mm -hmm. Throughout, throughout nigga childhood, I ain't stay still in one country too long to really adapt. You know what I mean? You know, it's like the longest place I ever been was in America. And I would say that, you feel me? Cause cold nigga was born, nigga had to dip out cause of war back home. So nigga went to the next country, stayed there for a while, then went to my dad's country, then went back to the country. Now nah, so it was just a little back and forth my whole life. So, you know what I mean? I was like, I'm an adaptable motherfucker and shit cause of that. You know what I mean? You can put me anywhere in the world and I adapt quick and hit it. If y'all blend in like I'm from there and shit, just to survive. <laughs> so, I mean, what is it like experiencing that, experiencing that at a young age? Like, you know, I haven't had no experience like right, that. So, yeah. what is it like? Because it's like everybody don't get to be in that. Man, it's just like changing classroom, boy. That's all. It's like you just adapting to a goddamn, into a whole different environment there at every hour. That's, that's how it feels. Now, I mean, if I had to describe just moving around, it's just like going to a different place. Okay, okay, okay. Um, so, you know, like I said, I know you one of the biggest people in Atlanta that do right. videos, man. So how'd you get into videography? Man, it's a funny story. <laughs> I had this one dude to shoot my video, right? Yeah. So he shot it. He, now I mean, my mind, like, now I mean, like, when I see something I want, that shit must look like how I see it in my mind. Like, like, yeah, you yeah. feel me? Now, I mean, if I don't see how I want, like, I visualize that shit ain't for me. So I seen bro did my video, I watched that, I was like, man, I like that shit. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? My mom like, bro, I can do this shit my dad, so you yeah. feel me? Because I know what the fuck I want. So, man, I just went and got there. You know I mean? My mom had an old-ass JVC camera. Started using that shit, man. Got in the college I was going to, and them folks had built, like, a media spot. So I was like, fuck it, man. Now, them folks had folks running out their cameras. I started using their cameras and shit. That was it, but I just like practicing, fucking up, practicing. The next thing you know, niggas like, bro, shoot my video. I'm like, uh, all right. <laughs> <laughs> you can do you in the Yeah, like, you know what I mean? Like, I pay you because your shit look good. So yeah, from there on, bro, that's how I started shooting videos and shit. But I don't really, sh I, nah, I don't even say I don't like shooting that shit, but I like doing that shit, you know what I mean? For myself, you know what I mean? So how do you learn, like, how to... Like do the video, you ain't had no tutor or nobody. You nah, legit, you YouTube and fucking up, bro. That's it. You know what I mean? Like you fix your fuck ups. Right. Trial and error. Yeah, that's yeah. it. Yeah, trial and error. That's the word. You know that's crazy because you know that's how I got into engineering. You right. know I had a buddy and he just, I guess it was too much pressure for him. Everybody wanted to come in to him to record. So I was like, man, we need to find another way to get somebody to be able to engineer. And I got blessed. You know we're having, you know extra person around that was able to teach me a few things and everything else trial and error so I definitely definitely feel you from that. That's so, life bro. So uh like what video did you have the most fun working on doing videos besides yourself? <laughs> <laughs> oh man which video I had the most fun bro and I ain't gonna lie bro I like having fun. You know what I mean like I don't like having fun when I shoot. You know what I mean like I got a mindset like I gotta feel doubted when I shoot. That's when I had the most fun. Okay. So I would say about 80% of them I've been doubted on. Like, you know what I mean? Because they didn't trust I could do what I was going to do. And so and I you like to surprise them all. Yeah, so I start smiling. Yeah. I'm just like, you tell the guy, that, what you going to call it? Uh, Jordan or Tom Brady. Like, bro, you ain't, you ain't, you trash. Yeah. I'm like, cool. <laughs> Let's go. Come on. I'm ready. I'll show you this shit. But yeah, man, but those, those, those are the best time I had fun. But like my negative time, I, I hate to say my most negative time, but the time was doubted the most. 
You know, sometimes, you know, when you have your negative moments, that's when you get your best positive. Right. Moments, you know, especially. Yeah. You know, when you down or somebody think you down, right. the only way for you to go is up. But so it's like, what yeah. the hell you expect? You know what I mean? But you got to feed on that shit. So they got to be like, folks, but I want positive energy. Nah, give me that negative shit right now. Let me feel off that shit. Mm-hmm. Like, don't make me happy right now. So, but, I, but now nah, I mean, I still want to be happy. You understand? I'm just saying, you feel me? It's just a... Uh, you just use that as motivation. Yeah. You feel me? That's it. So like, what's a day like starting off mm. being a videographer? Uh, just in general, bro. I wake up, man. I lay in the couch for about five minutes and try to just thank God, just tell myself something good gonna happen to me today, yeah, and, yeah. and something good gonna happen through me. Then I get on my now first I gotta go pee. You know, what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> take a week. Yeah, you feel me? Now I just say a little prayer, man. You know what I mean? Then listen to this little thing on YouTube for ten minutes. You know what I mean? I listen to this little Catholic meditation shit for about 17 minutes. Stretch it out. You know what I mean? I just try to go to the gym, bro. So everything work? Like the little meditation? Yeah, right? nah, nah. I mean, bro, remember that thing work, but I ain't get to that stage yet where I could really feel it. But See, not- I tried it before, but I was like, I don't think it worked. Yeah, yeah. They told me you supposed to be able to listen to it while you sleep and you'll have... Yeah, kind of dreams oh. or something like that. See, I, I didn't have no damn dreams. You feel me? I take the regular way. Nah, but I tell you something. Like, if you go to see, like, now nah, we may admit this one dude, Wayne Dyer, or some white dude. I'm glad I found them. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? But, bro, I said, like, the first five minutes, like, if you go to sleep, don't think about nothing negative about the day, bro. Just clear your mind and just focus on something positive. You know what I mean? Just, just make sure the last five minutes of your time for you close your eyes. Yeah. Ain't nothing negative, bro. You know what I mean? That's why I try not to. Do nothing stupid for the last five minutes before I go to South. I try to keep my mind clear as hell and just. No, that's a new game, man. Yeah. Try that. Try that more, but you're going to sleep mm-hmm. good. I try not to think about nothing negative. You no feel way. me? I always try to yeah, keep a positive nice. mind, but clearing your mind before you go to sleep might be something good to try. Right, try that more, but I'm going to bless you, though. So, like, what's the biggest budget you ever had to work on a video? Oh, uh, the biggest budget? I say 10 bands, you know what I'm saying? But the crazy thing is, all that went into the video, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But my biggest budget I want, bro, hmm, I ain't get it yet. Bye bye, now how much I want. You know what I mean? Now, if you see my work, niggas be like, damn, bro, like, you, they, they pay 50 bands for that shit. I be yeah. like, nah, bro, it's just because I made it look like it. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Because Swallowing. You feel like I'm trying to sell to the next motherfucker, yeah. and I'm approach like, listen, bro, you know what I mean? For this, I need about 50. 30 mm-hmm. band, 100 band, bro, to get all this shit to come by. I need this kind of nigga, this kind of person, that, that, and that on, on set. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But right now, I'm just trying to pass my shit together and sell it to the right motherfucker and shit. Okay. Okay. Feel that. Yeah. So, like, who's some of the biggest artists you work with? Biggest artists today? Who's the, well, not the biggest. Who's some of the... Oh, uh, yes, who's some of the biggest artists? Who's some artists that you work with? Now, I mean, I've been on set, but, but, but I ain't shot video for him. I was on set with Future. I mean, uh, I don't see Twister. I don't oh, see Jeezy. So. Now, I, mean, I don't see Boosie, too, you feel me? But I ain't shot this shit. I was just DP and just watching somebody else do the mm-hmm. shit. But if you had the chance to shoot, yeah. you would definitely have the chance. You know what I mean? Uh, not all on, though, you know what I mean? Just, now, I ain't trying to throw nothing at him and jump with me. You selected. Yeah, no. like very, you know what I mean? Like I'm very, no, very selective no, no. and stuff and stuff, you know what I mean? Because even shooting for people, man, I feel like it take away from your vision. Yeah. Now, because I mean? if you come to me on with your vision, and I give you give you your vision, and you can't be mad at me, ask me, like, bro, like, what's your vision? Like, what you think I should do? Like, nah, but you got to pay me what I want. Yeah. <laughs> and for me to thank for you, you, you feel me? My input, you know what I mean? Because if I got to give my input, bro, like, I would take your stuff to a whole nother level. Not so I don't want to. It's just, bro. And you're not paying me enough to think. You know what? I think that might be like in the same world of engineering because right. people don't want to pay the engineer what the fucking engineer is really doing to your record. Like right. to take something raw from somebody that's just and I ain't gonna say it's bullshit, but let's say it's just damaged. And right. you gotta be the one to come in there and patch it up, clean it up, make it look right. So by the time it's presentable, you never knew nothing even was Exactly. Begin with. So it's right. like, I see. We be making yeah. people shit look like it came straight from the factory, like everybody else shit. Right. But they don't want to pay you for the the work that you provide. So it's like, man, you gotta pay with your um with your old man. If that Fair. person is putting their time and effort into it, shit, when you you don't mind paying for them Jordans and shit, you know what I'm saying? They, they don't, bro. Shit. They don't, bro. They rather look good instead they of making sure bro. they they business handled right. And you know, if you take care of your business the right way, you can continue to buy them Jordans and shit. Cause 
This is about making relationships at the end of the day. But that's all the game is, relationship, bro. You never know who you meet. Yeah. And having a good being in a relationship can take you further than what the hell you trying to get out of that situation for that moment. You feel me? So now, I, I don't fuck for the moment. Feel like that. A lot for doing the moment, bro. I don't want no moment, bro. For the moment. So you know, man, now that you're an artist yourself, it's like, what's the experience like for you being yeah. an artist? Like, <laughs> man. It's actually fun, bro. I ain't gonna lie, bro. You know what I mean? It's yeah. like, now I can show the world my vision. Like, bro, like, this is what I want to do for you if you would've just let me do it for you. You okay. know what I mean? Right. That's all it is. So now you got the resources, you got the tools that you need. You bro, accumulated what? through doing all this video. You know I mean? Plus, you don't learn from other people, man. Yeah. Get some other artists, you know, man, to see how they move. Get they crew. Yeah, yeah, so you're like, oh, all right, bro. Mm -hmm. Like, you got, so I need this kind of person, this kind of service. Through, 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 through. So, so it's that game. That's it. At the same That's time. And I feel like that helps develop your own business, develop your, how you want to run things. True. It's a mixture of seeing other people run their ways and what they, the do's and don'ts that you that they're doing that you're not going to do, you know. Right. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. So, man, like, what what genre would you place your music in if you had to place it in one? Man, I don't want to say hip-hop. I don't want to say Afro B. I just want to say, mm -hmm. man, in the middle. You know what yeah. I mean? If hip-hop and Afro B had a child. Afro hip-hop. Yeah, not Afro hip-hop. Afro hip-hop. That's what it is. Is that, is that the first one to make it? I don't know. Is that Afro hip hop, man. Afro hip hop, man. We don't make Afro beat. We make Afro hip hop. Sorry. Hey, man, and it's just, you know, intertwined in the cultures, man. Right. Bringing that. Ooh, that shit gonna fuck it up, though. You that shit gonna fuck that. it up. That shit really good. You does. need that. Because, you know, people are always thinking one way about shit, and you know, we got a lot of simple minded mm -hmm. people. Right. So, if you only feeding them one thing, what you expect them to, you know, Give you back, right. you know what I'm saying? True. You gotta feed them other things if you wanna see other things from people. So, you know, man, we definitely need that diversity out here in the music that's gonna bring more attention to other great artists like yourself. You know what I'm saying? Appreciate that, that just put people on the map who got something to really talk about.